Hey everybody, I am here with a new video with Wantable. It is a styling company just like Dia, and this is my first box. I've had it for a bit and had to get an extension just because I couldn't get stuff done. So anyway, let me open it up. This little thing comes in there. Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. That is a good thing. This is the list. Well, for you guys, obviously, you probably won't be able to read it. Okay, it comes wrapped like Dia, and this tissue paper says, Wantable. Okay, it also has the return bag, just like Dia does. And here is my first item. It is a white top plain white t-shirt, but it has lace on the bottom, and that is beautiful. I'm not really a white person as far as plain white or cream, because I feel like they make me look bigger, but I will definitely give this a try because that lace is stunning. Okay, and this is a boho top has elastic in the sleeves. Oh, it is made by Zach and Rachel Woman. It is a 2X. Little peasant style, boho style. Got a little tie, lace up at the neck little lace-up detail there. It's cute. The pattern's not really my favorite, but I might like it when it's, when it's put on. This white top is made by Emerald. Okay, this is a Mariko black and white sweater in 2X made by BB Dakota. It is a big, what is that called? Hound's tooth, something like that. Heavy duty cardigan. Looks like it does drape in the front. There are no pockets, but it's pretty soft, and it feels like it would be really warm. Ooh. Okay, here is a sweater made by, let's see if I can get this up here. Um, G in a 2X. It is gray and it has this lace detailing on the shoulder. It does not go across the back. Just a regular sleeve, regular bottom. It's almost thermal material, but not quite. It's very stretchy. Seems like it'd be really comfortable. Okay. Ooh. Okay. There is this black stretchy top. Looks like it's way low in the front. It's made by Dex. 
looks like it's a three-quarter sleeve. Um, let's see here. It is slit on the side. Very stretchy. Be a nice basic black top if it's not too low cut for me. Okay, pair of leggings by Lisey, black. They have a really nice waistband. True legging, skinny. These are Melissa McCarthy jeans. Slimming silhouette wet bleh, slimming silhouette system. Say that a few times real fast. It's pencil slim, size 18. Which I've gained a little bit of weight. We'll see if an 18 fits me right now. I've been wearing too many leggings. Okay, so the prices on that. The white blouse. Oh, they don't have the prices on there. Hold on. Where are they? Okay. The lace trim tunic in white is $45. Comfortable tunic with a touch of feminine detail with lace trim. This top has flexible sizing and we fit you accordingly. Then lace detail long sleeve top in denim, which really it looks like it's gray to me is $39. That's not bad. Center seam, ponty, legging, black, $78 for leggings. They have to be really good for me to keep that. Pencil Skinny Harrison, size 18, are $89. Same thing, jeans, if they're good, like I really like Jessica Simpson, if these are as good as those, yeah, I'll probably pay it. Crossover front top black is $49. That's the one that ha is really a deep v-neck. Um, Mariko black and white sweater is $65. I don't think for as thick as that cardigan is, I don't think that's a bad price. Um, the border print peasant top is $52. Like I said, I'm not really sure that I would be, that I'm going to like that one anyway. My total is $417. If I keep the whole box with the discount and the styling fee, it'll be $343.38. Leave that there in case you guys wanna see what anything is and I will be back in just a moment with trying on. Okay, this is the black and white cardigan. Um, the sleeves come down farther than what I would like. I would constantly be pushing them up and that would be annoying me. I could, I could probably turn them up but it's just not really my style. <clears throat> um, see if I can get up on this chair so you can get a better idea. It's okay. It's not great. Um, for me, it's not worth the 60, <clears throat> excuse me, $65 um, because it's not really my style. But it is well made. It has plenty of room in the arms. So if you're interested in this, okay. I like this top um, other than <laughs> that it is a great length to wear with leggings um, it fits me well otherwise and I know that I won't hem the sleeves so let me get up here and show you the length like I 
said it would be great for leggings, but it is not to be for me. Okay, this is the white top and the leggings are a little snug, so that has given me a little bulge here, but the sleeve length is good. Um, it is see-through, so I would probably have to wear a camisole under it. I am undecided at this point. I love the lace on the bottom. I really, really, really like that. Um, the leggings, like I said, they're a little snug. They do come way up, but they are way, way, way long for me. And I wouldn't pay that much for leggings anyway. I think they were $78. So this white top is a possibility. I have to decide. And this is on every piece of clothing from Wantable. A little W thing there with their tag for Wantable. Just like Dia has their own tag. So, like I said, I like the sleeve length. It's nice and stretchy. I have to think on this one. Figured out how to put this top on. Now I remember I saw Tall Girl J, I believe, had this one as well. Okay, so it is a V-neck. It's not as deep as I thought because the that little detail goes across the back for a V-shape in the back. And it drapes over in the front like this. So I would wear a top underneath it because I would be worried about my bra showing. Okay. I'm not so sure that I like the way it drapes in the front. I don't know. But I like the fact the length is long in the back. And I don't know. This is one I have to think about too. I actually like this part but I'm not sure if I like this part, though it is camouflaging. Okay, so this is the boho top that has the lace up. It's got a lace there, elastic sleeves. It being a blouse, I always have this problem with the blouses. They're too tight across the shoulders. And I'm not really a fan of this calico-y type print. I do like the red stripe on the bottom and the jeans. These are an 18. I can tell you right now they are a generous 18 because I've gained a little bit of weight and they fit pretty good. They have a little more bagging here than the Jessica Simpsons do, but they're still, they're a thicker jean and they're not way too long for me. I think, again, these pants also went to Tall Girl J, and she is six feet tall, so these were cropped pants on her. So anyway, I am pretty sure I'm going to keep the jeans. Again, I have quite a selection of jeans now, and I've been getting some tops from Swap, so I'm not sure what... If I'm going to take either that white or black one, but I'm going to keep these jeans. The rest of it's going to go back. I will let you guys know later. Excuse my hair again. It's crazy again. Okay, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.